right, it's the 11th of September. It's supposed to be a west, northwest wind and then shift later on in the day today. Pretty calm, it's supposed to be nice. Trying for some, trying to get a Mako. Got about 100 plus pounds of bait, old cod racks, some Mahi racks, and also a pot, <coughs> flat of mackerel. So that's the plan. Things can change, but hopefully we get a hopefully we get a keeper make. They have to be pretty pretty large now. But that's the uh, that's the game plan for today. live scup here for these shark these scup are a lot easier to catch they're hardier and they do just fine with mako's i've gone uh two for three this year with mako sharks and three trips on live scup they're hardy they live well deep so easier and faster to catch than bluefish too want these legal stuff. It's a nice one. Usually grab five, five of these or so. For shark, they're real hardy. Mako's love them. Love them. Especially with these circle hooks now that you gotta use. You want that just one bite. It's in their gullet. Kinda all all set. Kind of southeast of Block Island by about 15, 17 miles. Water looks good. It's clean. It's about 69, 69 and a half. We have some live scup we grabbed this morning. And we're gonna uh we're gonna, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go through my tackle today, our tackle today a little bit. Show the harpoon rigging and just kind of just an overview of how how I do things and what happens and hopefully we get a hopefully we get a keeper mako today all right so i'm just going to show you really quick rigging uh gear we have these penn international <clears throat> penn international 250 sws with 80 pound mono straight mono rods this is a penn international tuna stick these are a little different though fishing these on a long curved butt Swivel, swivel base rod holders. This is a Penn International Tuna Stick 2050. This is the IGFA version of this rod though. IGFA, old school days were meant fought out of a chair. IGFA rods are always a little longer. This isn't a stand-up rod. Even if you were to switch the butt out, this is a chair swivel rod holder rod. It's a little longer than Penn International. The classic old school uh, white blank rods. So I'm going to show you really quick how we've, we've been setting these up. You have your terminal gear, quality ball bearing stuff ball bearing ball bearing the good stuff you know you get your three dollar 400 pound swivel there the good stuff uh just crimped we have 400 this is mamoy leader material which goes i'm kind of experimenting with these these offset non-offset circle hooks this is a 16 aught but we also we have 20 aught here 20 aught 20 aught and just the array of stuff we use here. I'm gonna put a live scup. We're gonna put this pretty far down. So on the 
on the starter end of this, we use these garbage ties. I found these just, you want to drop your weight off. You, you don't want your weight when you're fighting a fish. Rubber bands, tape, they kind of, I've had mixed results with both of those. Uh, we're going to do one pound bank sinker. Twist it on there pretty good. So now it's the start of your gear. Everything can turn afterward if it needs to. Everything can turn if it needs to. <clears throat> you want to go above the lateral line, but kind of between the lateral line in the end there, his spine is probably right right here on this fish. It's your rig bait, put it down. These, I'm gonna watch this when I drop it down. I'm gonna watch it on the fish finder. We're gonna drop it down. We're gonna go pretty deep with this. We're in 30 fathoms. <clears throat> Just gonna go up to the front here. Sometimes I'll go hit bottom and bring it up a little bit. I'm just going to kind of look at the fish finder where this is when I stop and then probably do it by hand. We used to do the line counter thing, but those always seem to find their way overboard. So I'm going to set a shallow, a shallow bait real far out if something's coming up. You know, every, most, most, oh, we got a hole in this. Most species of fish, they feed up, so you want them to just, I like this bait, <clears throat> shallow in the slick. It's done real well over the years. Shallow out about a hundred yards out pretty far. So once again, the end of your terminal gear towards your rod, we're going to want to put this just so everything you want everything to turn if, if it if it has to everything to turn freely yep end so everything past it can turn freely so let's go. So we have a deep bait out far. We have a very shallow bait, live bait out pretty far as well. We're gonna just do this macro. I remove the spine, kind of just butterfly them a little bit. And we're gonna put this down right at about the 60 foot mark with a pound of lead. Just pretty simple bait. One pound. And we'll put him on a balloon too. I'll show you how, to, how, how we rigged a harpoon here. So these lilies, sometimes you'll buy just the lily. When you swag it, make sure to leave enough space here so this I've seen a lot of these from pretty reputable tackle shops, even sold 
you want to make sure that's on on this side so it's nice and clean and flush a lot of them are rigged with that with that crimp tighter up here you don't want this you want this nice and flush all right see so if that pull it taut this is waterproof tape I'm just gonna do two wraps with this pull it taut One wrap, two wrap. This is so you don't lose your dart stick. Threaded. If you undo it, put it in there, and I'm gonna do another couple couple wraps right here. And that's how you taut one, two. That's it. That dart's ready. Basket's all set. You got all the line can pay out of here. You come here in the front of the boat, off the side, off the back, anywhere. You ball out of the way. You throw it. This whips out. You're all set. We got about 100 yards, a little better than 100 yards of line in there. That should be all set. That rod over you? Sure. No.
¿Vieron? It's a brown shark, probably about a seven foot. Seven feet. Three hours into our drift, this deep bait went off. Not really fighting too too good. About 90, I see him on the sounder.
a lot of these things this year. About to let him go. It's about a five foot brown shark. He hit that deep bait down like 140 over 180. 